knowledge adventure. Have fun. Get smart. Welcome to the main menu of Navigator, the easy way to get to know and use your Packard Bell computer. Explore the functions of Navigator by using the mouse or the tab or arrow keys on your keyboard. The very fastest species of land snail, if one can call any snail fast, is the garden snail. Two feet is the snail's racing equivalent of a four-minute mile. A garden snail once blazed through this 24-inch course in three minutes, making the animal able to complete a mile in five and one-half days. <sighs> Though tortoises may not really be faster than hares, they certainly live longer. The most famous of the giant tortoises live on the Galapagos Islands. They can grow to over four feet in length, weigh in at over 500 pounds, and live for more than 150 years. It has been rumored that the cockroaches are immune to radiation and will one day take over the Earth. It has also been said that they have been around since the beginning of time. <laughs> Parts of both rumors are no doubt uh, partially true. In fact, the cockroach is one of the fastest moving insects, clocking it at 3.36 miles per hour, or 50 body lengths per second.
tornadoes, like the one that carried Dorothy to Oz, are generated by atmospheric conditions which blend high humidity and the convergence of warm, moist air at low levels with the cooler, dry air up above. It is a frightening sight to see the long, snaking funnel drop from the belly of a cloud mass and wend its way downward. These storms are violent, dangerous, and destructive. Tornadoes over water are called water spouts. Imagine the peregrine falcon lofting in an updraft, then tucking in its long pointed wings, tilting earthward and sliding into a spectacular dive, 100 miles per hour. 150 miles per hour and gaining speed. Guided by its acute vision, the falcon strikes in mid-air, talon snatching its prey from the sky in an explosion of feathers. Filled with energy and blessed with an astounding speed of 175 miles per hour, the peregrine falcon is too fast and elusive to be taken by its larger and slower predators. Living in tropical and temperate seas, the 50 species of flying fish don't actually fly. They glide above the surface to avoid hungry predators. They achieve this feat by beating their tails as they approach the surface, breaching, then spreading their oversized pectoral fins like the wings of a glider. They then continue beating their tail to enable them to skip across the surface. Topping out at 35 miles per hour, they can glide 150 feet or more. Working in much the same way as the tapered nose of an aeroplane or missile, the long, thin extension on the upper jaw of the sailfish places it in the family known as billfish. The bill decreases water resistance and increases speed. No one is sure about the purpose of the sailfish's sail, but it is suspected that the sail is raised while the animal circles its prey, forcing the school of smaller fish into a tighter group so that more can be caught. These fragile insects exhibit exceptional endurance and navigational skill. Every winter, by the millions, they fly as far south as 2,000 miles at speeds of more than 20 miles per hour. Some pilots have reported seeing the lightweight flyers at altitudes of 6,000 feet. The blue whale is the largest animal in the history of the Earth. They can reach 90 feet in length and weigh as much as 125 tons. Though once hunted by whalers, only the species of whale known as the right whales are currently teetering on the brink of extinction. Despite its size, the blue whales migrate several thousand miles per year and cruise at an average of 3 to 10 miles per hour with the occasional sprint of over 25 miles per hour. With a long evolutionary history, the porpoise is descended from a dog-like animal that once walked on land. Differing from dolphins, principally in the shape of their heads, dolphins have a much more pronounced snout. The fastest porpoise is the doll's porpoise. These porpoises frequently surf on the bow wakes of boats, racing along at 30 miles per hour. Living in tropical... The highest capacity jet airliner, fondly referred to as the Jumbo Jet, can hold more than 650 passengers. First lumbering into the air in 1969, the Boeing 747 has a top speed of 602 miles per hour. Wanted! 650 mile per hour car designer. Richard Noble, a young businessman with a burning desire to gain the world speed record, placed this advertisement in a newspaper in 1977. 
John Aykroyd, an engineer who thought he could do the job, responded. Six years later, they achieved their dream. The car was basically a Rolls-Royce Avon 302 jet engine on wheels, capable of generating 17,000 pounds of thrust. In 1983, over the Black Rock Desert in New Mexico, Thrust 2 blazed to a speed of 633 miles per hour. At Edwards Air Force Base, in 1979, Stan Barrett maxed out the Budweiser rocket, a rocket-powered three-wheeled car, at an astounding 739 miles per hour. With a long, powerful tail that thrusts from side to side and fins for steering, the shark is a near-perfect aerodynamic design. Telemetry studies indicate that the blue shark cruises at twice its normal speed during the night when the sharks become more active. With a burst speed of 43 miles per hour, the blue shark can outsprint most of its prey. We've all heard stories of cat superstitions, especially around the time of Halloween. But the cat wasn't always cast in such a dark role. Domesticated early by the people of Egypt, the cat became a sacred animal because of the cat goddess Bast. In this time, the people of Egypt were forbidden to kill a feline. A large, agile working dog, the collie was carefully bred in the 17th and 18th century in Scotland. These Scottish sheepdogs were put to work as sheep herders. Not only are they faster than the sheep they herd, the collie is also quite a bit smarter. spacecraft first blazed into orbit in 1981. Once in orbit, the shuttle is controlled by small thrusters. In the atmosphere, the shuttle is a 200-ton glider, which in theory can be piloted in to land on any runway long enough to accommodate it. Because it has no engines, the pilot only gets one chance. Its little wings produce almost no lift, so the shuttle lands at a very fast 200 miles per hour. In space, the astronauts aboard cruise along at a cool 16,000 miles per hour. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. The astronauts aboard Apollo 10 got to execute almost all phases of the lunar landing. Almost, because they never got to actually land on the lunar surface. Their mission called for them to board the lunar excursion module, descend to within 50,000 feet of the surface, and then to return to the Earth. Since there is no gravity in space, the astronauts had no physical sense of the fact that they were cruising through the heavens at 24,791 miles per hour.
Rising cyclonic storms develop most often in tropical waters. It is the warm water that fuels the storm, causing the updrafts which generate the circular swirling of the winds. In the Atlantic, the storms are called hurricanes. In the Pacific, they are typhoons, from the Chinese word, great wind. The Pacific typhoons are often much more deadly than their Atlantic counterparts because they have so much more ocean over which to develop before striking land. Once they roar ashore, they dissipate quickly. While the storms themselves may span as much as 1,200 miles, the calm, central eye of the spiral is usually 12 to 60 miles across.